There's moments in life where everything just comes together. Things that you just can't even plan. And this weekend was one of them. You see, the next assignment in the Stanford Photography course is still life, which is arranging a series of objects and then taking a photo of that. And it just so happens that our friends were getting around for Thanksgiving dinner and decided to do a grazing table. I hope you're hungry. So yeah, it was amazing and that video sort of shows the scale of what we were dealing with. And first up I want to show the photos which I think came out quite well. So here's some of the pictures. Yeah, I think I was, I was really happy with how some of those photos came out. And just because grazing tables are really popular at the moment, I thought that I would give out a guide for those of you that have never been to a grazing table. You might be a bit nervous, you might not know what to do. Well, here's my four step guide to enjoying your next grazing table party. Okay, number one, choose your seat wisely. Okay, so if you don't like cheese, or you don't like grapes, don't sit next to the cheese. Okay, because once you're at a grazing table, you've got to eat slowly from wherever your section is. The goal of it isn't, oh, can you pass me that over there? Oh, can you get me some grapes from way down there? No, that's not the goal. The goal is for you to work on your section, expand out. Okay? If everyone's reaching and passing, it all turns to custard. So number two. So, come up with a rhythm of what you're going to eat and then stick to it. Because when you get, sit down at this great table, you start to get overwhelmed with all the treaties that are laid out in front of you. I came up with a pattern to success, and it sort of went like this. Eat a pretzel, eat like four pretzels, eat some carrots, eat some grapes, have a cracker, coconut, chocolate thing, then eat another pretzel and repeat. You keep repeating until all of these things are gone. And that way you'll feel safe, you'll feel comfortable, you'll be able to eat a bit more, you're mixing real tasty things, and sometimes you might actually chuck in a thing there that you don't like that much, just so that you can help the team eat the thing that you don't like. Tip number three, don't eat anything for the whole day before the grazing table. Seriously, when you see all that food down there, and we had quite a lot of people there, 16 people or something when you sit down at that table you think oh that's easy because if I had a cheese board for four people we eat this much we'll multiply that by four and that's the grazing table well no something strange happens it's 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 daunting it's a daunting prospect sitting in front of that table so I highly suggest you don't eat anything for the whole day so that way you can contribute a lot when you're as a member of the grazing table party. Number four, the bread and the crackers are not for eating. They're mainly there for show. Everyone went hundy straight into eating that bread and it dominates you. And it just means that you can't really get the full selection. So don't do that. Just, just let the bread for the end. Leave that till last. Cause that, that's the trick of the whole grazing table. So yeah, hopefully with those four steps, you'll be able to enjoy your grazing table 
you'll be able to have fun and you'll be able to help out your mates defeat it. Because when you see this great Greek feast, 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 when you see this great Greek feast laid out in front of you, it's like a challenge. It is a big boss in a game and you and your friends have been selected to overcome it and eat everything. So all in all, did our friends defeat this? No, we didn't. We ate too much bread too quickly. We didn't eat enough every day and people didn't stick to the pattern. But, you know, what can we say? It was our first attempt at a grazing, grazing table. The photos I thought were great, but the friendships, they were just even greater. So all in all, a great Thanksgiving dinner. And I'd just like to say from the boysies, what are you grateful for this year? Personally, I'm grateful for you. Anyone watching this video, all 188 subscribers of you, you're awesome and you're the one that gets me out of bed every morning. <laughs> Out, uh, uh, out of <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> you can get why? Why can't I say it? Am Am I getting emotional? <laughs> Please hold. Oh, I'm getting the girls. You get me out of bed in the morning, <laughs> and you bought out me to buy this DSLR. Yes, you did. Oh dear, I don't know what happened there. Woo. I'm grateful for you and everything you do. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for commenting and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>